I have bodies to loot. Bargus skulls. Bye, Shani. See you later. I'll probably sleep with you then. Ooh, ectoplasm. I'm gonna try to get herbalist stuff as soon as possible. Because it's super useful. Be alert. Okay. Tee. What do you want? Always give strangers such a warm welcome. It's all the same. The beast will have us all. I'm glad we talked. Let's celebrate. Farewell. Your voice is oddly high pitched. No need to rush. Um. Okie dokie. I went up another level. Oh, I got six more talents. Excellent. What do I want to do now? That's it? Yeah, that's it. Okay. Now we should do some more damage. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, wow. Be alert. Uh, oh, look at all the stuff! Oh my goodness. That was well worth it because now I can loot mm, lots of things. Board. Maybe I can find some witcher's work. Okay, let's take all of those. We're gonna get some contracts. I should be able to do all of them, I think. Uh, this. Anything else? Read that. Read that. Nope. Let's. <laughs> Wait for this drunk guy to stumble out here and go inside. There's a lot of auto saves in this game, which I like because I always forget. Save. There should be a drink. Ah. Let's talk to you. Greetings, handsome. You look a tinge fatigued. Wait, didn't you rescue that child at the gate? By chance. By chance? Really? If only the local peasants chance to do good once in a while. Oh, no matter. What can I get you? Hmm, beer? Uh, hmm. Nothing now, but care to sit down with me for a moment? Not likely. I'm a decent girl. I'm at work now. <laughs> I did this one last time. Let's try this one. You mean to say you stop being decent after work? How dare you? What a bore. Mm. Whoops. <laughs> Let's have a drinking contest. Have a drink with me. All the drunkards sell the same. I think I should be able to outdrink him. I'm pretty sure I can. Uh, as long as I have enough beer. Bug. Aw oh, man, wait till you see drunk vision. It's pretty funny. This is why you need so much alcohol. Oh crap, we need another one? Move. 
I think I won. Nice. <laughs> so, out drank you. Strong head you have there. Don't I get a prize for winning? Drank with a merchant recently. Weak headed he was. Take his book. Thanks. Even when I'm drunk, I sound completely sober. Uh, ah. I'm pretty sure I already had that bestiary entry. And now we get to wander around drunk. So. Don't I get a. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> Farewell. I don't want to drink. It's going to take long enough for this to wear off as is. And now let's. Wander around the tavern, super drunk. I'm gonna get you. Let's go talk to this guy. Hmm. Three ounces of optimum. Oh man, it hurts my eyes though. To look at this. Solution. Jeez. Greetings. Greetings. Geralt, Witcher. Drunk oh, Witcher. Witcher? How much would you ask? I don't think you could afford it. You would be doing a if great you buy me service another drink, I might let you. All right, fine. Though I perceived you as someone who... I respect science and scientists, alchemists too. And I guess I expect the same in return. Except when I'm I drunk. See. Well, hmm. Maybe you can agree to a post-mortem then. Keep talking and I might change my mind. Regarding alchemists, that is. All right, all right. I'm sorry. Uh You don't look like a local. I live in Vizima, but I'm just returning from a great convention of alchemists, pyromancers, and geomancers in Oxenfort. Wonderful city which uh, a cradle of science. I don't doubt it. Did the convention reach any specific conclusions? It was an incredible experience. I presented my dissertation on Specific? Conventions aren't meant to be specific. Oh, aren't they? Then I'm they? not sure I see the sense. Science is like a great river, full of currents, whirls, and treacherous shallows. A single raftsman can never know every secret of the river. He must sail to the harbor and share his knowledge with other raftsmen. And get drunk and spend his last money on whores. I think I see the point now. Hmm... Science is like a river. Uh, sorry, I got lost in thought. You were talking about returning to Vizima. Ah, uh, yes. Because of this quarantine, I'm losing time in this inn. I have extremely important research waiting. And what am I doing sitting in this dump and drinking alcohol? Badly distilled alcohol. I've sent a message to my friend, another alchemist. He is my only hope. Hopefully, he will send me a pass. He will. Mm. Well, I wish you luck. Thank you. They must admit me. They must. They will. Later. Do you ask everyone for permission to examine or dissect them? Of course not. But you're a mutant. A scientifically wrought improvement. Something unnatural. And drunk. That explains it. Don't take offense. I'm merely curious. Need any help from a witcher? I do. Check the notice I hung outside. I have already. I wanted to ask you about alchemy. Finally, someone worth talking to. Here I thought the locals had no interests beyond their daily concerns. I'm not exactly a local. And think about it. If the locals were all interested in alchemy, they wouldn't have much need for you. Ha! Huh. Typically short-sighted. Witcher, alchemy is the mother of all sciences. And do you know why? For it allows us to understand the world. All that surrounds you is none other than the alchemy you strive so dutifully to deride. Alchemical processes transpire in your body at all times. They allow you to eat, breathe, and excrete. What's more, they are responsible for your thoughts and feelings. Alchemy is life. We need to change the subject before the peasants decide to burn us at the stake. <laughs> One cannot shut the mouth of science. But fine, what do you wish to know? I would like to know... Formulae. I'm interested in formulae. 
Ready-made formulae are rare and difficult to acquire, so I encourage you to experiment, modify recipes you already have. Most people underestimate the value of using the empirical method in science. Where do I get ingredients? If you wish to obtain components yourself, you'll need books containing drawings and descriptions of ingredients derived from both plants and animals. Peddlers are your other alternative, but they'll rip you off. When I require monster tissue or organs, hmm, well, I hire a witcher or a hunter. How do you obtain alchemical bases? You need equipment to obtain the correct distillate. I myself use an atonator coupled with an alembic and equipped additionally with a rectifying column and a copper cooler. And if I don't have a coupled atonator handy? I see. Field work. Hmm. Olaf must have some decent vodka or spirit that could serve as an alchemical base. I think I've heard enough. But we've only just begun. That was everything you ever needed to know about alchemy. They say you need ghoul blood. Do you have any? No. I'll come back when I've <laughs> gathered some. I need that blood for my studies. Be quick about it. Then fine then. Toxteen, you're so funny. What do you want? Give me a beer. Your kind's not welcome here. I said I wanted a beer. We have no more. Oh, Very really? well. I'll see what I have. Good man. Everyone drink up. We're closing. Innkeeper, do that again and I'll get angry. Wouldn't want that, would you? No. All right. I'll just tend to my business and be on my way. What can I do for you? <laughs> I'm a witcher. I'm a witcher. Bah, by the eternal fire. Have any work for me? No. Ask the Reverend. Okay. I'll speak with him. What can I do for you? Why the gloom? I don't talk to strangers. Do you for five orans? For that, I'd talk to a bar guest all day. Uh, fine. That's like all my money, though. The plague was devastating. People died in droves. The wailing lingered for three moons. If not for the Reverend, we'd all have perished. No wonder we're wary of strangers. You don't know what it's like when the plague takes your family. The Reverend prayed all day to the eternal fire, taking no sustenance. His penance freed us from sin and strengthened our faith. We began by cleansing our homes of sin and filth. We gathered it up, and by the next day, all our foulness was buried or gone. The Reverend then spoke to all who remained. <laughs> you have done well cleansing your households of sin. I know it was difficult, I know they be kin, but the eternal fire sent pestilence on them as punishment for their sins. You are pure, you shall live. And we believed him, then went outside. The frost was biting, but we did our penance, crawling round the village, praying at the five chapels. The next day the village was quiet, as if all were asleep. Fewer have fallen sick since. An edifying tale. Thanks. In other words, this Revan decided that he would like them all to kill their families if they were sick with the plague, and burn them, or bury them. While it stopped the plague from spreading around, they had to murder their families. Yeah. What can I do for you? I... I can... You can store stuff here, and it just kind of transfers to other innkeepers. It's like your house, sort of. But in this case, I'm just gonna yes. meditate. For you, five orans. Another five orans, fine. Hi, Shanny. I'm gonna meditate until dawn. And then maybe I'm gonna go do a fist fight. Maybe. Pop! Did you want to ask me something? No. We'll speak later. What about you, Alvin? 
You saved me, right? <laughs>